Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our regular scheduled council meeting, the first one of the year for January 3rd, 2022. To welcome to a new year. And most importantly, yes, Mr. Bridge, welcome back. Thank you. We are so glad to hear, see that you were here. I am very excited to be back, actually. Being home for a month, not doing much, was against everything that I am comfortable with, but I'm rested in here. But I, I appreciate it. Yes, we're glad you're back and safe and sound. Thank you. So, all right. All right, uh, moving on, uh, Miss. Uh, let's see here. Have you called roll, please? Yes, Mayor Lowry. Here. Councilman Grimm. I'm here. Councilman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Nowakowski. Here. Councilman Roadwald. Here. And Vice Mayor Cook. Here. Six members present. All right, thank you. And moving on, tonight's invocation will be done by Vice Mayor Cook. Our Heavenly Father, Please bless us tonight as we attempt to do the business for this grand city and its citizens. Please respect our first responders, protect them to the best of your ability. Let's see if we can get over this coronavirus. And in God's name, we all pray. Amen. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, moving on, I'm sharing with Mr. Graham, that's why I'm a little curt. Let's see, we'll be action on the regular scheduled uh, meeting and town hall meeting for 12-2021. So moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Nowkowski, second by Mr. Roadwall. Any discussion, Council, on those minutes? All right, and when you're ready, Ms. Werner. Second, Ms. Roadwall. Yes. All right, Vice Mayor Cook. Abstain. For the law director. Okay. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. Councilman Eggleston. Abstain for law director. Okay. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. And Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Those minutes are accepted. Four, zero, two. All right, thank you. All right, moving on. Okay, so now we move to swearing in of Councilman recently elected, Mr. William Lindsay. So, Mr. Lindsay, you know the. Uh, you know the deal. If you would come up, and uh, I would assume Miss Bernie would like him over your way somewhere. Wherever. Wherever you'd like to stand. Make it easy on her. Okay, sounds good. All right, and ready. I state your name. I William Lindsay. Do hereby solemnly swear. I hereby solemnly swear. That I shall support. The Constitution of the United States of America, the Ohio Constitution, the, the bylaws and the ordinances of the state. The Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. You're going to have it. And all local ordinances and the charter of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. And all the ordinances and charters of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. I will faithfully. I will faithfully. Honestly. Honestly. And impartially discharge. And impartially discharge. The duties of the member of council. Member of council. For the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. The city of New Carlisle, Ohio. For the term ending 12-31-25. For the term ending 12-31-25. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. All right. I've been elected. All right. Say something. Sir. This is nothing against Mr. Cook or Ms. Eggles. But I think it's kind of a bit improper that they are sitting here in the council. Um, there, I understand there's a rumor going around town that we have already decided that they are going to fill the seats. I've heard that too. I have not been privy to any such conversations. I hope that no other but uh, that being up here would only add fuel to that, uh, that rumor. Now, as public officials, we have to avoid even the slightest hint of impropriety. And I believe uh, they should not be saying to the council. 
Well, I was actually going to address that next, just so there was wasn't any confusion with anybody who may not be aware. So, per our charter, and I, you made sure I had it ready. So, I'll just I'll just read it to you. It's not real long. Just before we get into the next part, since you brought that up real quick, uh, what it says in our charter: the persons elected in June uh, 1981 shall commence their term of office on July 6, 1981. Thereafter, each member of council shall be elected for four-year term of office. The terms of office such subsequent council person shall begin the first day of January following the election, just as, for example, Mr. Williams, uh, Lindsay has. Uh, says, a person so elected shall serve until his or her successor has been uh, elected or qualified to succeed him or her. So, uh, you know, it been, you know, talked with the attorney, they, by all rights, can say that. But as you've heard them mention, they chose to abstain. That's you know, that's I can't tell them to go up or down because it's here that they, the way I read it and the way that it's been discussed with the attorney, they have the right to sit here, but they're probably not going to be able to vote on anything. So I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask them to step down. That's completely your calls uh, as a councilman and, and your call. I mean, it's in here. But I completely understand the authority. And he said he consulted the law director. Mm -hmm. Why were no other council members informed that this was going on? Well, I mean, it's their decision. And since it's in here, they don't, in my opinion, they don't have to ask us. It's in here. I have a term of relief. It doesn't is the way I take it. So, so I'm looking. In the sake of decorum, I will go on out to the audience. All right. Hmm. And I will follow him. Mr. Mayor. Sir. The charter states, as you read, the vice mayor is the vice mayor until his replacement is elected. And at that time, he is no longer on council. As far as a regular councilman, I would have to defer to the city lawyer I don't know if that would apply there or not. And I did not read the charter before I came. Yeah, no problem. And, and I, but, I would, but what you, from what you read, I would say that is correct. Yeah, I would agree. And that's why I didn't, you know, I didn't bring it, you know, because it's. The it's only a, reason I brought this up is because of the rumors that are going around town. Fair enough. And they are not true. Um, we haven't even announced the position. We don't even know who, who's going to apply for it. Um, I think Mr. Cook and Ms. Eggleston, I like them, they did a good job, but I want to see who else is going to apply. I haven't made any decision, not hoping none of the other council members have either. And mainly because of the river floating around town, that's why I brought it up. Just so we don't, just to make sure we don't uh, have any uh, flies that have been provided. No, I, again, I completely understand. I just, I'm just going off of what our rules are in front of us. Um, you know, that's all I can say. I'm not being very back to lock myself out or something. Again? Don't look there. There, I got it. Mr. So, Mayor? Sir? I'm going to ask you, but it's also for the attorney. The, once we elect a new mayor, vice mayor and a mayor, then the seats would be declared vacant, then those seats should be vacated. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think um, they should vote as to the mayor or vice mayor. No, they should not. No. Because no. their, their terms ended on midnight on the 31st of December of 2021. Correct. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not arguing. What you have, what you have to say at all? I just, yeah, like I'm I just said, like I said, I'm going off of what our rules say. And like I said, it's nothing against the two. Like I said, I like them. I think they've done a good job. But we have this uh, public perception issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Thank you, Mr. Graham. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. They're going against you. All right, so moving on. Uh, so, because I provide them to pass that. So now we'll move on to. Um, let me. We'll move on to the appointment of mayor and vice mayor. But also, when we get down to um, what we'll do is we'll vote on mayor and vice mayor, 
and then we'll discuss how these two seats will be filled, the procedures. I know some of you already know. And then we will also have to go into break rules of council because uh, Mr. Bridge and I realized that uh, we forgot to put the appointment on of uh, our uh, clerk of council and, and backup clerk of council. So since that's not in there, when we get to the bottom of this list, we'll ask the break rules of council to do that. And hopefully Ms. Burner will grace us with her presence in the rest of the 2020 year, 2022 year. So. All right, so moving on to swearing in uh, appointments of the mayor and vice mayor. So how this works for some of you who may not know, so we'll open it up to appointments. We'll just start with mayor, um, open up to appointments of mayor. Anyone up here can make a, a, uh, make a motion to appoint John Smith, and uh, it needs to be seconded. And then we'll leave it open if, if somebody wants to appoint another person, then it would need a second also. And then once the nominations, there's no more, we need a motion to close nominations. And then Ms. Burner will call the, the vote for the first person and then the second person. So with that being said, we'll open up two nominations for the mayor. Mr. Mayor. Sir. I nominate Mike Clark for me. Okay. I second that. Right. And then any other nominations? Okay, so now we need a motion to close nomination. I move that we close. Uh, point of order. Sir, do you want to do a vice mayor separate then? That's how we've done it in the past. Okay. I went back okay. and watched. I went back and okay. watched how we've done it in the past, and that's okay. how that we've done it. Then I second his motion to close nominations. Okay. Get that first and the second. Uh, the first was. Grim. Um, the first for you for mayor was Grim, with the second as Roadwald. Correct. correct? And then the first to close nominations, Mokowski. <laughs> and second by Mr. Lindsay, I believe, to yeah. close. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can call for the vote when you're ready. Okay. Councilman Rodewald? Yes. What are we voting on? <laughs> Closing the nominations. Okay. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Sorry, I forgot you went there. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Okowski? Yes. Yeah. And Councilman Lindsay? Yes. All right, All right. nominations are closed. So when you're ready, you can call the vote for mayor. Okay. Now we are voting for Mr. Mike Lowry as mayor. Mayor Lowry. Uh, yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. Councilman Nowakowski. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. That motion passes five to zero. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And moving on to Vice Mayor. So now I will open it up to any nominations, motion for a nomination for Vice Mayor position. So moved. Four. Open nominations for Vice Mayor. Okay. Second. Second. We've never had it in the past, but. I thought we did. Okay. Then I'll rescind it. Sure. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going off yeah. of how we've done it in the past. If he rescinds it, I'll rescind it. I'll okay, it's rescinded. Don't worry about that. All right. All right. I, mean, I wasn't going to tell you not to do your motion. You have the right to do so. <clears throat> All right, so nomination for Vice Mayor. Anyway. Mr. Mayor, I'll nominate myself. Dan Rodewald is okay. Vice Mayor. All right. And do we have a second? Second. Okay. Just was that? Good? Yep. Okay. Sir. I would nominate myself. Mr. Grimm. <laughs> do we got a motion for Mr. Grimm for himself? Do we have a second for Mr. Grimm? Second. I'll second. Mm -hmm. uh, it was close. We'll go with Mr. Lindsay. Okay. 
let somebody else have it. I didn't hear it. No, well, you both said it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you both said it at the same time. So, all right. Okay, so we got the motion and the second for Mr. Grimm and Mr. Rogal. Anyone else? Well, since we're all nominating ourselves, I'll nominate myself as a former vice mayor. All right. Well, Mr. Lindsay has made a motion for himself. And I can't second it because I made the motion. Right. I mean, somebody should nominate me and then we'd all be running for the election. <laughs> all right. A second? Then we'd all just be voting for ourselves. Right. <laughs> no second? Second. And a second. Is it a second? Did you say that? Did I okay, so we'll make sure I heard you. And a second from Ms. Nokowski. Okay. From Mr. Lindsay. Yes, All right, so that's. Say what? I'm just I'm making sure I, I'm not forgetting all the names. So, all right, so well, that's. Any other nominations? All right, I need a motion to close nominations. Will we close nominations? Second. Motion by Mr. Graham, second by Mr. Lindsay. All right, so we are voting on closing the nominations. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. All right, motion to close nominations passes five to zero. Now we will go down the line. Can I ask you a question real quick? I don't know if you'll know this, or maybe Mr. Lindsay will know. If, let's say the middle person gets it, do we have to go to the third, even though? We didn't in the past. We've okay. always just gone with whoever, whoever. won first. Okay. But also, we, I don't think we've had three people. No. No. This is I, we've only. Wins, then you stop. You just yeah. That's right. Yeah. Together. OK. Whoever gets the most votes, it's done. <clears throat> OK. All right. Sorry, Ms. Burner. Oh, you're all right. <clears throat> Okay, so first off, we are um, voting for Councilman Roadwald as Vice Mayor. And Councilman Lindsay. Did Linda second that? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I have to say no. Okay. Councilman Roadwell? <laughs> if you say no, you're done. <laughs> yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? No. Councilman Nowakowski? No. Okay. So that motion fails two to three. So we are moving on for Grimm as vice mayor. <coughs> and uh, da, 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 Councilman Roadwald. No. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. Councilman Nowakowski. Yes. And Councilman Lindsay. Yes. All right. That motion passes four to one. All right. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you can move over here if you watch. We can stay wherever you're at. I already got the seat one. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Moving on to let's see, uh, announcement of vacant council seats. Let's go over that real quick. I got my notes here. Okay, so uh, how this works is, so tonight is the official announcement that we obviously have to have fill, fill two council seats. Um, let's see here. So uh, let's see here from the council seats. I'm gonna try. So what we have, we have a minimum of 10 days from, or not minimum, I'm sorry, no sooner than 10 days from the time that it is published from the newspaper. So Ms. Berner, I'm assuming tonight you'll put it in the newspaper I, I will send it and they won't get it until the morning. Probably. When do you think it'll run? Um, Wednesday, Thursday? So it's Monday tonight. If you remember by tomorrow, my noon, it should be Thursday. Yeah. Thursday at the latest. Okay. Yes. So 
Um, we could we could do this two different ways, and I wanted to see what council wanted to do. Um, you know, we can't do it any sooner than 10 days from the publication. Let me pull up my calendar here on my phone. I won't lose my iPad screen. Um, so 10 days from, we'll say Thursday, if it runs a day later than what she was thinking. Uh, so that would be, let's see, Thursday, so. Monday the 17th. Well, we won't have a council meeting that day, but 10 days is what I'm getting at is, would be Saturday the 15th. So I don't know if we, I don't think we should try and rush this to try and squeeze it into the next council meeting. So I say we just, we, uh, you know, we do let it run. And then um, I guess we can all just pick a, a date of what we think the cutoff should be and then hold a special meeting during the week of the 24th of whatever council agrees on to interview and appoint that member because it has to be done before 30 days so no sooner than 10 but before 30 days so that puts us we still have to get it done in the month of january um, for the most part i mean we could go a day or two into february but i wouldn't want to cut it that close so so if she puts it out and it goes out um, we can put it on our social medias it'll be in the newspaper probably thursday uh, when would you what would council agree with uh, making the cutoff date for applications if we do let's just say we'll do middle of the week interviews say the 26th maybe so do we make the cutoff um the 21st or do we make it the 24th i mean what do you guys think for to accept applications what did you say at? 10 days ten after the yeah it has to be 10 days from the time it's vacant till we start up to 30 days no we can start accepting applications tomorrow once it's mm -hmm. you know we've announced it here we but we can't pick a council member no sooner than 10 days if we really wanted to rush it we could do it on day 11 but you don't want to do that that looks that's bad so but we've got to do it before 30 so we just need to pick a cutoff date for the applications and mr yeah. mayor sir i think the 21st would be sufficient 20, yeah i mean that gives you what almost a little over two and a half weeks for yeah. people to put out the right in. special meeting the week of the 24th right <coughs> so cutoff date was the 21st for applications okay um yeah that's what i'm trying to we probably won't accept applications until the day the legal ad runs okay on the sixth. Okay. so like until it's officially in the till, yes and then um did you did you pick the date I, I no we haven't got that far yet we've just picked the cutoff date we're just going to discuss the the meeting date next okay what was the cutoff date for okay, we're going to go with the 21st as a cutoff date for application for application so they need to be right. in by 4 p.m to give people time to the citizens time to get an I mean, application we, and fill it out if we, yeah but if we only have to ha allow 10 10 days why are we going so long 10 days is the minimum we can do it. You don't want to cut it so short that people don't have time to get their applications in. If you, you know, it just- That's what I said. Why not the 10th, the 11th day? Because that's on Sunday, I think, isn't it? In 10 days, the 15th? Yeah, the 10 days is 15. So that's, yeah. it's a, just a little over a week, a week and a half. I mean, <laughs> I, mean we, I would rather give our, I'd rather give our citizens more time. Yeah. People need time to make decisions like this. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's a commitment. I don't see any problem with giving time. Mr. So we do our job. No, 21st is what I had in mind. Okay. All right, so we'll set and that. gives them full, two full business weeks. Yeah. By the time the ad runs. Talk to their families. Get in by Thursday. Thursday. You know, gives us 11 business days. Okay. All right, so we'll make the 21st cutoff, Ms. Burner. For applications okay, so applications will be accepted until 4 p.m on the close of the city building january 21st 2022 correct okay, special meeting on the 27th that's what i was going to ask you guys the i'm a, i can do really any day so is there a particular the, day that works good for you miss burner too because you'll need to be here as well um i think that 27th is okay 27th for you mr lindsay and mr Rolo. Is that good for you, Mr. Lindsay? Yeah, the 27th is fine, sir. Ms. Nowakowski? I was actually thinking the 25th, but two days isn't going to matter. OK. So 20, what did we say, it's 27th? Yes. At 6.30? Uh, 27th. I would say I would probably say. Let me check the shelter house availability. Please. 
No, we just do it at the fire station. So we're setting up at 6.30? Yeah, as long as he's checking the shelter house, but if not, we can probably move it to the fire station. Is that the 27th? Yes. We're good. We're good? Okay, so the 27th and we'll do 6.30. Uh, Ms. Burner, I guess uh, we can are you going to, once we get the compiled list of who all is applied, uh, will you be able to set up some times? Yes. Do you want them, like, do you want the first one at 6.30? In the past, we've done, like, the interviews earlier, like, 6 to 6.30. Like, we've done them in that time, and then the official meeting started at 6.30. So how would you like to do that? I would have trouble getting here by 6 o'clock. So okay. So, we'll so 6.30 to 7? For interview times, mm -hmm. and then, and then uh, like we'll have the official vote and right. it's at, seven. at seven. Would you like me to say it like that? That's fine with me. Okay. Okay, with you guys. Yeah. We need a motion for the special meeting. Yeah, let's, yeah, we do a motion for the meeting. I move we hold a special meeting on Thursday, January twenty seventh, at six thirty. Second. Okay. Interview purposes. For interview. <sighs> And you were the second? Maybe? Yes. Okay. Councilman Rodwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Nowakowski? Yes. And Councilman Lindsay? Yes. And that motion's accepted 5 0. All righty. Mr. Mayor, I have a question. Sir. Will the applications be on the website or do they have to go to the city building to get them? Uh, in the past, I went to the city building. I don't know, Randy, is that something you want to put up on the new website? It's just like, I think we it's already on there. If not, we can get it on. So it'll be? Under forms, application and forms. Do, I mean, can they go to both places, or would you prefer they only go? Oh, whatever. Whatever okay. it can be. So we'll put some packets out front, too. When they come to the foyer, they can get it. Whatever's easiest for them. So okay, so online it. and at the okay. city building. Mm -hmm. When will those be out, then? Uh, Friday or Thursday? Probably the day of the ad. Oh, yeah, probably Thursday morning. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, they're available now. I mean, anyone can apply at any different time for anything technically. All right. That sets that in motion. So next we will need to, I can't remember if I talked about this, yeah, we'll need to break over the council so we can uh, appoint a clerk and a backup clerk of council. So I need a motion to break over to do so. Move. Second. <clears throat> motion by Mr. Nokowski, second by Mr. Lindsay. Okay, hold on just a second. I ran out of the room here. And tell me that again. Uh, motion by Ms. Nokowski, second by Mr. Lindsay to break rules of council to appoint clerk and okay. backup clerk. Okay. Councilman Rodewald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. And Councilman Lindsay? Yes. The motion's accepted 5-0. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So before I guess we ask for the motion to um, Make a motion to have you as our clerk again. I'm assuming you want to continue. Sure. Okay. I'll make the motion to uh, appoint Emily Burner as our clerk of council. Second. Do you, I'm yeah. <laughs> she has a lot on her mind right now. I already got four pages of notes here. Right. We're not even past communications. <laughs> so. Okay. So I had the first from Lindsay and the second from Grimm. Correct? Correct. That, was that, yeah, that was right, yeah. All right. Councilman Okowski? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Rodewald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. All right, motion is accepted 5-0. All right, welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> Did you enjoy your trip? Don't forget him. And then we'll need a motion for a backup uh, clerk, which is Randy. Um, I know I don't think you were a big fan of doing this. So, it's hard. So what I think we can do is if we maybe, if anyone thinks of anybody that would be interested in doing this, it's what, maybe a few times a year? Yeah, you're already on a board. You're already on a board. Um, Are you on a board? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be today, but... 
I don't, I don't think so because it's, it's in a paid position, so probably not. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'll do it for a little bit. Like, but I, if it's, just, it's hard to be involved in the discussions and recording versus, so I just put me on and we find someone later, they can more than happy take it. Yes. Saying, can't, can't, they, can't the notes be taken off of the video? That's well, not the issue. Yeah. You, you still need someone here to call. record it. And the reason why we end up going with me is because I was always here. Like, right. if we had a backup who had a family, if Emily couldn't come, there's a chance that other persons couldn't come. We always know I was going to be here. And it I does get challenging, though, when you have to record yeah, the votes and the take part of the discussions. That's hard. I never do the minutes when I'm not here. Emily just pulls them from YouTube. So it's just the, it's the, this stuff while you're here. It needs to be done. And the COVID thing didn't help, like, when we weren't all together. Yeah. Sure. You. But it's only a few times a year, so I just, right. I'm fine with it until we. Well, like I said, if someone comes up with a name or suggestion that somebody would like to volunteer to do it, then you can step down and we'll reappoint the person. Sure. So I need a motion to make Mr. Bridge the backup clerk of council. So moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Nowkowski, second by Mr. Grimm, and an enthusiastic Mr. Bridge over there. <laughs> Are you? You do. You do. <laughs> Councilman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? No. He has enough to do. Councilman Rogold? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Almost did. Vice Mayor Grimm? <laughs> yes. That motion passes four to one. All right. Now, Mr. Mayor, sir, back to the question I was going to ask for all that happened. Why don't we just appoint uh, Howie? because he doesn't like doing it either. Well, that's okay. It doesn't have to be that often. <laughs> it's the same difference. Like, he'll, he'll yeah. have to take it at some point yeah, in time. But, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It was only a few times I had to step in. Okay. It is a disaster every single time, but it was still only a few times. No, the last couple of times it was much better. Much better than the first one? Yeah. I'm getting hang of it. Yeah, it was. All right. Moving on. Uh, we oh, there you go. Yes. There, there you go. Well, I'm going to give Mrs. Marshall a call tomorrow. Yes. 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 Perfect. There you go. Mm -hmm. She's a I'm just going to nominate her now and deal with her later. We can do that. No, it's fine. I'll talk to her, but I'm, we'll talk to her. All right. Moving on. We're done with communications. Moving on to the city manager's report, Mr. Bridge. Oh, uh, city manager report. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council. Welcome back, Mr. Councilman Lindsay. Thank you. Members of the public. It's great to be back. Thank you for all the reaching out and kind words during my uh, recovery period. But Can I ask a question? Don't they sit until they're replaced? Who? Bill and Peggy. Yeah, we went over all that. So why aren't they back up here? Because they choose to go out there. Because Bill is no longer the vice mayor. Well, would he's been replaced. He take, take his vice mayor thing off, and he can be up here to vote because he's mm, not no, you been can't do replaced that. yet. No, you can't do that. We, we, yeah. their, their term ended on the 31st of last year, last month. Okay, that's what I was asking. Um, All right, mayor. Mr. Bridge. Did you bring anything to swear into my ear, Vice Mayor? Yes, I did. Yes, Coach. Yes. Back to you, sir, when you're ready. Do you want to do the swearing in or should I just finish my report? You, you, you can finish your report. Okay. Um, so uh, I was thanking everyone. So I'd like to share with you the EC manager report. So we have under discussion topics. We have a mayor's court update. Mr. Lindsay, I know you're kind of new to the party, but council uh, instructed me uh, about a year ago to start with this. this is a great, great uh, way to get additional revenue. So we're about done with that. Um, right now we got some software being installed on the back end. The tickets that I would, we had developed are in, so I'm gonna review those. Um, so I still don't know how far away we are, but we are getting very, very, very close. So once we develop the planning and zoning, the code enforcement tickets, we're gonna get those into the turnaround times, usually two to four weeks. Uh, I gotta have a meeting uh, with our attorney and then our, our contracted deputies, and soon enough we'll, we should be good to go. We're still waiting on that software to be uh, installed on the back end, though. That is currently what's holding us up. But um, we made a lot of quick progress in a short amount of time, and we are very excited to get this going. Uh, rules of council, I did attach to those. Um, we give them out at the first meeting. I don't know if you guys want to wait until after you have a full council to kind of vote on these or not, which might be appropriate, but I'll leave the decision up to you. Yeah, um, there, I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, there are some things in here that I would like to make the recommendation. One is the meeting start time. It's still listed at 7 p.m., so we'll have to address that at the next one. 
And then two, if you look under section C meeting, where it goes into executive sessions, there's a section under here, uh, it's under 121.22G of the Ohio Revised Code and lists all the reasons why you can go into executive session. And I think council should entertain adding that list to the rules of council so when you access those, they're right there. Because a lot of times I do get questions about what I can't, what you guys can and can't go into executive session for. Having them in your rules of council, very easy. Right there, the information's good to go. Um, TCC appointment, I'm sorry, I skipped one. Water shot offs. Again, I kept this on here for our new council member. We are looking, going to be looking at new procedures for our water shot offs. We're doing a lot of shut offs for a very low amount of uh, money, and sometimes it costs us more to do the shut off than not. So we're going to look at that. Any kind of recommendations and changes that we will make will go to council for approval. So you guys will have your final say on that. But we have been looked at. We are starting to look at that. Um, TCC appointment. Um, that is another thing, too. I know Mr. Vice Mayor Cook uh, was on that board. Uh, but we do need to have an, uh, a representative from the new Carlisle City Council. I have been in contact with Scott Smith, who's director of TCC, to let him know the vacancies that we have. So it's another thing if you guys want to wait until you have a full council to make that nomination. It probably be okay. I'll reach out to him because I gave him a deadline of the next meeting, which I don't think we're going to meet. If he needs something sooner than that, we'll go ahead and have you guys appoint from the existing five that's here now to the next meeting. Um, but basically, you go up there, you attend the meetings, and you just take part in the conversations. And I'm pretty sure you vote on some things, too. Um, I have been in contact with the Charter Review Committee. Uh, Mr. Hall gave me a call when I was during recovery. Uh, he is requesting that council do, ha do have a meeting with them on January 13th of this year, 2022, at 5.30 p.m. at the fire station. And I do believe that they want to just go over what they've come up with so far so that there's no you know, side blindness going on, I think, when they actually officially come to you guys. Okay. So with that being a special meeting, we'll have to put that in the paper, but we would need a motion to approve that if all council does have the availability. And again, that is Thursday, January 13th at 5.30 p.m., and that would be at the fire station. Works for me. Yeah. Mr. Mayor. Sir. I have a meeting already scheduled that evening, so if we could move it up a day or back a day. That is the only day they supplied. They meet on Thursdays, and the two Thursdays after that, they are, they don't have, they're not meeting. Okay. I'll see if I can rearrange the other one. Well, that makes it hard for two of our council members. Um, well, since there's only five, a quorum would be two, right? Three. 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 Majority. So there's at least two you show when we have to be publicized. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want to cheat anyone else out that sure. wants to go either. Should I just respectfully decline that you guys don't have the availability? And see if, that, and see if they have another date they can do. I already you know. asked them that. Oh. Or asked them for the Thursdays out, two Thursdays after that, anticipating. Mm -mm. That Thursday, the Thursday after that, they're, they're not having, they're not meeting through the next two after that because they're not having member availability. Okay, what about? So we'll just have to get with them, maybe invite them. I'll call Mr. Hall and have him come to the next meeting. That that's, way he can address you guys directly. Yeah, that or, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Just tell them that you know that it's not that anybody didn't want to. It's just scheduled availability. Sure, not a problem. And if something was to come up, to let us know as soon as possible. Okay. As far as an, an alternative. And council is okay if I invite them to the next meeting. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. And that meeting is on the 18th. It's a Tuesday, by the way, everyone. Okay, and I have a COVID discussion. I know this uh, this new strain starting to come back, and everyone's starting to get concerned about it. I've had this discussion with some of my staff members. We're okay. Um, council in the future, if you have any operational concerns with the new uh, variant increasing, just please let me know and we can address those at a, at a publicly scheduled meeting. Um, and I put this new, new item down here, it's miscellaneous item for discussions. If anyone wants to bring anything up, more than welcome to. If not, that is all I have. Uh, I'm starting to just recover, I mean, recoup from what I've missed for the past month, just trying to play catch up a little bit. But The rules of council dictate the start of does that mean we should have a motion to break rules of council to change? Make the time to change in the, in the <laughs> minute, or the uh, rules? Yeah. So I can explain that. So anytime you change your rules, it has to be done by resolution. So you, when you guys changed the start time last time, it was done by motion. But it says seven o'clock. It sure does. We've been meeting at six thirty. Yes. Should we have? A motion to break rules of council to meet at 6:30 instead of so seven is dictated by the no because it has to be done by resolution. Okay, like tonight we broke rules of council to appoint Emma. 
Yeah, because but you don't. But that doesn't have to be done by resolution. But well, when we changed the meeting time to six thirty, we didn't have a resolution because it was done incorrectly. Yeah. Mm. So either you guys can revert to going back to the seven so, o'clock start time. If I may get to my point now, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, can we have the rules of council read? Council shall meet at a time specified by council. You would have to do that amend that by resolution. Yeah. And you can't do that right now because the resolution hasn't been drafted, hasn't been sent to our attorney for review. Well, that's why I'm bringing it up now so we can include it in it. That's what I'm, yeah, the next one is going to be part of that resolution when you guys meet. When you it, have these stuff. Yes, all that will be fixed. Yeah. yeah. So that will all be prepped and brought forward. Yes. In a resolution. Yeah, as long as a council member amends it, yes. Okay. Yeah. All I'm doing is giving you guys the rules, what you have now. So anything you want to change, it is your responsibility to say. Well, that's a change, change. that I was suggesting. When you draft the rules, final, when you come up with final draft. I don't do anything with the final draft. You guys do. So when you guys come to vote on it, someone's going to have to make a motion to change it from 7 to 6.30. See what I'm saying? I, I, I got what you're saying. Okay, I got it. I understand what he's saying, but I don't have the sole power. Right, no, 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 I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Good? I'm good. All right. Did you have something, Mr. Lindsay? No. All right. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bridge, anything else, sir? No, nope, I'm good. All right. And again, Glad to have you back. Awesome. Thank you. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Where are we at here? Any discussion? So, all right. Comments from members of the public. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the podium. Please give your name and address and try to keep it close to five minutes, please. Randy Mullet, 522 Hamilton Avenue. I gotta say, guys, in 45 minutes, I am unbelievably disappointed in what has happened the very first meeting of council this year. You guys are already so fragmented and so, like, it. I'm just getting flashbacks of years prior when things did not go well, and I really, really hope that this is not the start of undoing everything that has been accomplished that was great for this city in the last four years. Mr. Graham, you want to talk about public perception? What you guys are doing, I just feel like there's so much nitpicking and undermining and it's just absurd. It really, really is absurd to question. I mean, you're, you're questioning every single little thing, things that are done and gone, things that have yet to even be to even come to the forefront. And it is an unbelievably disappointing to see a few of you sitting up there behaving this way. I hope that when the two new members, if they are new members, if they're former members, if they're whoever they are, I hope that then when, they, when they come along, they are somehow able to bring this back to being a cohesive city council because as of right now, you guys are doomed. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else? All right. Thank you very much. May I say something? Yes, you may, sir. When you're dealing with a governmental body, there are certain things that you have to do, certain things you cannot do. I don't need to be patronized, Dale. I know exactly I'm not, I'm not how this works. I'm not patronized. <clears throat> there are certain things that have to be done a certain way that you do it. But did we not just hey, cover hey, that hey, the, the meeting uh, change hey, let, time let, was not? Let Mr. Grimm talk, please. Okay, I'm done. You're done? Yeah. yeah. All right. We're good. All right. No one else? All right. Thank you very much. All right. So moving on to committee reports, uh, charter review, um, Parks and Recreation Board, if applicable, which is not. So, resolution is done. Ordinances, two for reduction, one with action this evening. And I'll hand it to Chris Burner, please. All right. We have Ordinance 20. 21-54, public hearing and action tonight, an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the Clark County Sheriff's Office for fire and EMS dispatching services. Council? I move to accept ordinance 2021-54. Second. 
Question by Mr. William Lindsay and second by Mr. Rogel. And an explanation of this ordinance, a yearly uh, thing that we do, we contract out with uh, Clark County Sheriff's Office for a fire and EMS dispatching. Um, it did go up this year uh, by $3,828. Uh, that is due to a, an increase of number of calls that we have, not due to an increase of actual uh, cost per call. So uh, that is before council tonight. Council, any questions or comments? All right, when you're ready, Ms. Burner. Okay, Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Nowakowski. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. And Councilman Rodewald. Yes. That motion is accepted 5-0. Moving on, we have Ordinance 2022-01. Introduction tonight, public hearing in action on January 18th, 2022. An ordinance approving a contract between the city's AFSCME chapter and the city of New Carlisle for a three-year period. The next one is ordinance 2022-02. Introduction tonight, public hearing and action on January 18th, 2022. An ordinance amending chapter 238 of the codified ordinances of the city of New Carlisle regarding the division of fire. Right, moving on to other business. All right, we have um, additional city business, which we still need to swear in, both of you. Right. Um, and then the city offices will be closed on Monday, January 17th for Martin Luther King Day. And then we got to swear in Mr. Grimm as well, correct? Yeah, I, I said you too. Oh, okay. I was like, don't forget. Point at both of you. Before we let Ms. Barner take over this, does any other discussion, business, comments, questions? Oh, Ms. Barner. Okay. Got uh, Mayor Lowry's first, so you can go first. All right. All right. Nice All right. Do long, drawn out. I'm horrible. Memory. I'll do a little. Do you like just three okay. words and then I'm just not a problem. I <laughs> state your name. Mike Lowry. Do hereby, I hereby solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I shall support the Constitution of the United States, the, United States, the, Constitution, the Constitution, and laws, and laws of, the state of, Ohio, of the state of Ohio, and all local ordinances, and, all local ordinances, and the charter, and charter of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. City of New Carlisle, Ohio. I will faithfully, faithfully honestly, honestly, and impartially discharge, and impartially discharge the duties of mayor, the duties of mayor for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, for the term ending 12-31-2024. For the term ending 12-31-24. You got it right. Okay. To which I have been elected. To which I've been elected. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Would you please sign there? I'll do that on the tabletop. Right. Oops. Okay. Don't write on that. It'll poke right through. I just learned that. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. Here. Okay. You got it? It's all right. I can fill it out okay. when I go back over there. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I. I, I, Dale Graham. Okay, do hereby <laughs> solemnly swear. Do hereby solemnly swear. That I shall support. That I shall support. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. The Constitution. The Constitution. And laws. And laws. Of the state of Ohio. Of the state of Ohio. And all local ordinances. And all local ordinances. And the charter. And the charter. Of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. Of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. I will faithfully. I will faithfully. Honestly. Honestly. And impartially discharge. And impartially discharge. The duties of vice mayor. The duties of vice mayor. For the city of New Carlisle, the Ohio. City of New Carlisle, Ohio. For the term ending 12-31-24. For the term ending 12-31-24. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. Why don't you sign that? I guess put it on your yeah, don't, don't, before don't, you. Don't put it on the phone. Yeah, put it on the phone. Okay. 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 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, All right, thank you very much, Ms. Burner. I may have some. All right, any other city business? Pardon? Any other city business discussions? All right, and I'll need a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. moved. Uh, Mr. Lindsay, and we'll need a second. Second. And a second by Mr. Vice Mayor. Councilwoman Nowakowski. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Graham. Yes. Motion to adjourn accepted 5-0. All right, everyone have a pleasant evening.